So, welcome back guys. Today I'm in the single player for a change and uh, while I've been messing around with the uh, server in between boot ups and backups, I've been doing other things. So this is, you'll see this from the Let's Build My Son. That would be my uh, land speeder from an OBJ conversion. But I've got a couple more things I'd like to show off. So uh, this is the first re attempt of for Hailstorm. I think it's actually upside down. <laughs> but yeah, there you have. The shoot the whoop livery <laughs> hailstorm um, and like I said it was just my first experimentation with skinning with a BMP so I haven't drawn it it's uh, done it by itself interestingly if I go inside here <laughs> it's still visible in here the only problem of course is um, it doesn't handle the inside very well, so as you can see, it's hollow. Um, I, I think I actually did ask to hollow it, but uh, you can see, look. <laughs> That's how storm. All gun. That's all gun. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm just experimenting, like I say, so. There it is. It's not functional, unfortunately. So. <laughs> oh, dear. I had to do it. And moving on. Got my first attempt at a proper reskin while using selected areas. So uh, not the whole thing, just one face. So I got a little pirate face here. If I go back, you can see it looks better at a distance. Got a little pirate there with a skull and crossbones. And uh, you can see there. Got a little bit of a digital camo thing going on. Same, another pirate. And uh, digital camo again. Like I say, I've just been experimenting with the uh, BMPs. I think the digital camo is actually a ping. I think that was a PNG as well. well what's interesting is occasionally it uses wedges, which is a bit strange, but there you go. And then here we have a scaled down, 0.2 scaled down version of Alexandro's T Great Solar Sailor. So uh, I said I'd do it for him, I'll send him a copy. Just here, now this is something which has been brought to my attention about my conversion script. Because it doesn't really know what, which director put the wedges, it just kind of all wedges. And I found that a better way to do this is actually to. Um, can I can change the XML so that it's not wedges. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, like I say, if I change this to blocks and then use the smooth, that looks better. But, you know, I try. Everything else converts fine. Got a little oil, oil derrick. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I used smoothen and harden on one of the MTX's fronts. And ended up producing this pattern, which looks be funky. I think I'm going to go with. It. I think I'm going to keep that. Um, it's interesting what it's ended up doing, but uh, yeah. So there was another one that I had, but um, it didn't seem to have spawned. But uh, it was basically a harvester with the sheep to whoop instead, because it seemed to make more sense. Um, and also, I uh, flipped the core so it's upside down. See if I can find that one quick. Oh, so I knew I had more here. So this is the windmill. Uh, this is uh, quite a famous model which I saved in my Minecraft world years ago. And I did a tutorial showing how to extract sectors. Uh, no, how to extract, sorry, schematics from Minecraft and then convert with Smedit. And this is an example of that. So let's just come down here and have a little look. Seems to have converted the inside okay. <laughs> Obviously the guy was using some kind of plants for uh, the rope. Or whatever that is. So that hasn't converted properly. But you know the model's there and it can be tweaked. So that's cool. 
So let's get on to the next one. So yeah, you might notice uh, is my world eater, the planet harvester. Um, as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> I've reskinned it. Like the only trouble with the reskinning process is it converts everything. So you've got to go around each face and uh, convert them individually. I found, but. This is one of the ones I did where I just went straight convert using a BMP. Same one as I used on Hailstorm. Uh, but originally I was going to use it on the harvester because the beams for the salvager cannons look better for this particular picture. Um, I may have one more to show you because to be honest, uh, I suppose it's worth seeing what it's like inside, isn't it? Oh dear. There is hull in there though. So let's see if we can find that last ship. And lastly, this is Hacks Castle by Hacks Murderer. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look around here because I'm interested to see how things have converted. The green was because it was, uh, I think, vine stone or mossy cobblestone or something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Ah, that was an enchantment room. So they were all bookcases and that was an enchantment table. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're a corridor down there. But it's a bit dark. So I won't go down there. Uh, let's see, coming around here, we've got a tunnel going somewhere. What else have we got? What else have we got down on this level? Nothing, nothing. Oh, big hollow space. It looks like there was a cave there. Oh, it looks like there was a dungeon. Whoops. Looks like I erased a dungeon by accident. So I think, is this some kind of... Ah, this is a tunnel that went under the whole place. Right. Yeah, I might change the uh, <clears throat> specs so it actually creates some lights where the torches go. But I originally just used the redstone lamp, as you can see here. Redstone lamp. <coughs> glowstone even, sorry, glowstone. Oh yeah, I converted the ores as well. <laughs> just <laughs> see, only a couple of ones. The ones that look like uh, iron and copper and gold. So anyway, let's have a little look at this, uh, this place, shall we? Oh gosh. Mess, redstone mess. Doors. So uh, yeah, looking around the castle. A nice view. <laughs> so uh, let's see, is there a doorway? Ah, here we go. Minecraft doors are always so small. There we go. Oh, look at this. Got a little courtyard. Trees are all still in place. Got the walkways. Rampart, the keep in the middle. Flags blowing, though, in a strange way. But that, that looked better. I wonder what happened with that. Hmm. And uh, yeah, cactus. I wonder what type. There must be some vegetable or grass or something that they've been using for that. Hanging lights. That would have been torches. Expect. Yes. So yeah, there you have a uh, nice little castle there. Uh, you know, Minecraft structures. I'm still working on uh, a way to get them onto planets nice and neat. Um, they look too difficult, so I'm just developing it. And I'll be ready to do another Semetic video sometime soon. Like I say, I've um, achieved quite a, new, quite a few new things, so, uh, you know, that's always good. I think we might have one more model to look at, and uh, then that's going to be it. But yeah, that's the castle. And I can't wait to figure out how to get this in there. I'm quite to the selection box now, and that is the key, getting used to the selection box. So yeah, let's move on to the next model. So that's it for the, uh, just a couple of things I was mucking about with. Um, I suppose there is one more thing I could show you, in fact, um, but it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna fly away from planet. So yeah, I made a uh, lightning sphere, or you would call it. Um, they asked for 300, and so 300 is what I built, but uh, I made it in glass and water. I didn't know which one they would prefer and um, yeah it came out okay so I'm just gonna have a little look at it here I think so let's just tilt over a little bit and jump out let's 
go and have a look at it up close. Oh, so it doesn't look very big until you get a ship. Let's have a look at this beast. Right, let's get a core out. And here we go. Wow. That looks awesome. Right, I'm going to see if I can get inside there and see how big it is. It doesn't feel big enough. Big enough. Get out. Actually, once you get inside, it's pretty big. Hey, I moved that core outside. Looks like I'm gonna have to do it for them again. <laughs> Maybe when I copied it. Yeah, it must have. Right. Okay. That's easy. Moving the core is easy. And there'll be tutorials on that as well. Got a load of Smedit tutorials coming your way soon. I had to get all the reviews out of the way before I could get back to my regular probing. Uh, but as you can see, it's basically it's the it's the lightning sphere. What can I say? People can have their fights in here, and no one can argue about them running away. So that's the plan. Well, I'll leave that to them. They know what they're doing. I'm just making the model. Nice and easy if you've got enough RAM, I suppose. Um, there is a glass version, but uh, you can use your imagination for that because it's exactly the same. Just uh, has a lot of edges. So yeah, uh, might show it in a later video. We'll see. I want to leave it to them because I think they're going to go with the glass version. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, that's just a small update on what I've been getting up to in single player. So yeah, I'll just see you soon. And thanks for watching.